Greetings. So I thought I would uh, do a video recording this time for my newsletter and we're on the verge of hopefully moving into stage two or being well over the next few days. It shouldn't be too long. And so it's been a tough time for everybody over the last few weeks with lockdown and everybody's had their challenges and there are still challenges uh, ahead of us as well. And it was interesting because I've been talking to lots of different people over the past weeks, mainly because I'm doing lots of interviews for my YouTube channel, which you can check in with if you just go and search for Anne Bowditch Author on YouTube. You should find me and you can subscribe and then you can uh, have a look at the videos. So I'm putting up one interview a week and just talking to lots of different people in the industry, some authors, uh, I've spoken to Melissa Jolly, creator of the Colour Mirror System, also to my own tutor Karani, who um, was um, very much involved in, the, or is very much involved in the Colour Mirror System, and lots of other amazing people as well. So have a dip in, as I say, there's one upload a week roughly, and um, I'll do that for as long as I I can as long as I've got people to talk to and as long as I can find the time to do it. And then other things that have happened in lockdown for me is I haven't actually written anything in terms of books this time, which is what I did last time, but I am still working on the author side of the business and there's a lot of work behind the scenes that needs to be done and I was very, very behind with that. And if there's a blessing for me through lockdown, it's that I've actually had chance to catch up with that update my website so I've got the abauthor.com website and obviously my my uh, therapy website hypnotherapy.gg I do think once um, I'm able to see my clients in the studio things are going to get a little bit hectic so if you were thinking about booking in then uh, I would ping me a message and um, so that I can make sure you're on the list and I'll obviously work through and make sure that those clients who were seeing me pre-lockdown get the priority and um, I'll do my very best to fit everybody in and see if I can create some extra appointments. So as I say, last lockdown, 2020 lockdown, I wrote a book and at long last I have the book. This is just the author proof copy, hence the banner. Um, so with much deliberation, it was decided to call it Stresses of Modern Man. But do you know, the honest truth is that women will get a lot out of this book as well, because I talk about so many different issues. A lot of it is slightly from the guy's perspective. But my aim with the book is for guys to be a lot kinder to themselves, a lot more gentle with themselves, to understand their mental health better, because I really strongly believe that knowledge is really powerful. And the first step to change is to create some knowledge, to have some knowledge, to learn about yourself, understand yourself better. Uh, there's lots of uh, tips and techniques in there, but not overwhelmed with them. And a lot of them just very simple, just to get into the theme of it. But also in there, I've got um, a communication form, which I will put on my author website. And that is really for guys who struggle to communicate how they're feeling, or what's going on for them or just don't want to communicate it but perhaps if they could tick a box or just write a sentence and hand it to somebody who's important to them or to their doctor or somebody then they can make a start in creating those changes so I've sort of prepared it from working with guys you know and that's been a great insight for me I wouldn't have written the book if I hadn't been working with guys because that has really been the background to how this has come about and a lot of the content. I actually use some real life experiences from myself and from my clients, but obviously keeping uh, names out of it. And um, yeah, it's my biggest book. It's uh, 74,000 words, so um, it's, it's still not huge from some standards, but there's plenty of content in there. And um, I'm really pleased the um, launch date on that is Friday, the 23rd of April. But you can go on to Amazon now. The Kindle is available for pre pre order, uh, but there will be a paperback version as well. Um, so keep a lookout for that. I, I feel it's very important. We've got to keep talking about mental health generally, but also especially men's mental health. 
I won't bleat on about that too much because um, I could spend the next 20 minutes and um, there's other things to tell you. So I'm not going to talk for too long because I know people are busy, but you know, I, I always on my newsletter include um, a colour mirrors bottle and um, this is a transformation bottle. This is actually my home bottle. I'm in, I'm in my, my lounge at the moment. And the transformation bottle is violet, dark, deep violet over a pale violet, but mine's gone rather bluish, turquoise-ish, and actually my studio version's gone the same. And, and these bottles change due to our energy. But we are in a transformation. And I always feel like when we go through something big, whatever that may be, on an individual basis or on a group basis, then we have to sort of look at what we can take out of it so that we have a better life, so that perhaps we're happier, so that we can release some stress. So maybe something to think about over the next few days, if you haven't already, is what can you change? What do you want to change? And what action will you take to do that? Because we can always sit and not take action, but then nothing changes. So transformation, what do you want to transform about your life that's going to put you in a better place? Maybe feel more empowered, less anxious, less stressed. Have a think about that. So that's the, uh, that's the transformation bottle. So as I say, studio should hopefully be opening soon. There's my YouTube channel, which um, is going to have more and more content on it. There's my AB author. Uh, website abauthor.com and obviously my hypnotherapy website various sites have been updated so um, there's a bit more work to do that always is but that gives us um, you know something to work with so hopefully I will see some of you very soon and keep looking after yourselves just have that awareness of how you are and don't take on too much of other people's stuff don't get too drawn into it see you soon